What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we are going to be playing some gem grab on Flooded Mine. Jello Beats, holla at me. So what's up guys, hope you guys are all having a great day. Anyways, just a quick update, I'm going to be heading out of the country this upcoming Tuesday, so I'm going to be pre-recording a few videos, but it's nothing going to be up to date, so if a new brawler comes out or something like that, unfortunately I won't be able to cover it straight away. But with that being said, I think next season I'm going to be going for 20,000 trophies, so no, nowhere, nobody has ever been close to doing this before, so I'm doing a little bit of pre-grinding right here. I'm currently 11th in the world and still playing. And basically the goal is to try and get kind of like 17k this season. Just so I can reset back to 14k or about 14 and a half thousand. So I can make a huge push to 20,000 the next season. So the next season starts actually in two Mondays which is about 10 days away. But I'm only going to have like five days now to start grinding because I'm going out of the country. So anyways, let's hop right into the games. So heading into the first game here, we're actually going to be playing Leon the entire time. I changed it up, but I'm currently grinding, so I am just going to be going with what I have to play. I have most brawlers already at 700, and we're only a couple days into the season. I only recently started grinding as well. I was going to take the season off and kind of just focus on IRL stuff, start streaming a little, and try and get videos out every single day. I'm only getting like four or five out a week right now, and that I definitely want to change. So good super there by the Frank. He was not able to kill me. But yeah, anyways, I'm trying to get out more videos and stuff. But I do want to grind because I am a player at heart. So that is just my reasoning for pushing. I do want to grind. I was the first to 15k, the first to 16k. And I just want... I feel like 20k is a really cool number, a really cool thing to be first at. So I'm going to go for it. Anyway, so here we go. We're going to go sneaky over here on this book. So we see a Frank with the super... So we're trying to avoid that a good amount. So we're going to actually like kind of run away. I was kind of going for a yellow there. I didn't think it would really work out. But we were going for it anyways. Going to try and make a cool play while we're recording. But anyways. Just going to chip down this Frank. This Frank does have six. That would be enough for us to win the game actually. But I can't really do much or approach him very easily. It is going to get Lester. That is going to come, kind of leave him in the middle as bait, so he's going to kind of back up, go back into their spawn. Going to try and get my super. So we do have seven. I could go and try and get the Frank, and because the Nita is down, I think our team's going to focus. But the more ideal and the more, like, the high percentage play is kind of just maintain possession. No really, no need for a big play at the moment right now. Just getting the 10th gem, walking back, very simple play is all we really need. Anyways, we're going to take out this Poco. The auto aim coming in way too fast. 10 seconds left. We're gonna go sneak. Gonna kill whatever comes at us first. We get that Poco again, it looks like. And that is gonna be it for the first game. So here we go into the second game. Here we're gonna be facing a Primo. Spike and I think it was a Jesse So I think we're gonna end up getting a primo, but that definitely is not the best thing to face when you're a Leon I mean, it's not bad, but you do want someone that's squishier someone you can kind of just go on Kill real quick and just cycle the kills Anyways, we were able to take out the primo fairly fast Let's see what the primo does here. He is probably close to jump and that would take us out if the primo jumps on us be able to get the spike and avoid the RNGs right there. So we're already halfway through the game. Going very fast, no problems so far from the team. Lester should be able to get that Primo, yep. And the Primo is going to be taken out by us again with a great assist from Lester. Anyway, 7-0 right now. Everybody is holding their lanes, as you guys know, and as I like to stress to you guys, lanes are important. Don't just run into the middle and do random stuff. We're going to be able to take out that Primo again. We're going to be up 9-0 right now, but he did acquire his super. Now Primo with the super is actually very scary, but I don't think too much will be done here. Just going to do a little harmless jump, we're going to be able to take him out. Tried to steal a kill from Lester there, but it didn't work. Just going to go sneaky for fun. Try and get another kill on this Primo. And he got us. Finally got us. Anyways, that's it for the second game. So 
So here we go into the third game. We're going to be facing Kaner, Portal, and Super Sai. Just a quick congratulations to, K uh, to Portal, actually. He is the only quote-unquote pro player in Brawl Stars to have the new skin. So that is awesome. Anyways, we're going to be facing, not really running a real comp, um, but anyways, here we go. We're going to be going at it. does i'm just kind of focusing on the night Witch. what do you guys think of the night Witch mortis i think i think it's kind of dumb i think it's kind of foolish but you know it is what it is i don't mind it as much as everyone else seems to mind everyone else seems to say oh worst skin ever created i don't know if you guys seen the bs subreddit i actually barely looked at it but i hopped onto youtube and i saw coach Corey making a video about the night Witch mortis he also has it and everyone's saying it's the worst skin of any game ever now that's quite the claim but i mean who knows it is kind of foolish i did see some cool actual remodels on the mortis skin and i was thinking those were actually pretty cool so maybe implementing those would be kind of sick i think luster will be able to get the 10th gem that will be a quick 10 now, not like they were really trying anyways with their comp. Looks like they just kind of wanted to play around with the new Mortis skin. It is kind of cool, I will admit, but it looks like they didn't put too much effort into it. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Well, I thought that was going to be the end of the video, but a quick full clip by, uh, by Pro Player Kaner over there. You have to take him out. You have to go sneak. I don't want to deal with Kaner anymore. I'm gonna take out. As you guys can see, this is some very nice auto aim gameplay over here. Anyways, that is gonna be the official ending of the third game, and let's hop right into the fourth. So here we go into the fourth game here. And it looks like we're gonna be facing a Gene Leon, and I didn't see what their mid was. That's Oh, well, Mortis. Very interesting. Gene's actually a pretty good mid here. It is actually kind of weird, but he is a good mid here. Gene is very map specific, as I've said in a previous video. But we are going to be facing a just a normal Mortis. He's trying to face a normal Mortis. Come on now. I want to see the Night Witch. But anyways, here we go. Continuously playing. Gene is annoying us. Same old, same old. We're going to be able to take out this Mortis over here, gonna do a bit of DM before we do so. Looks like their Gene is looking a little bit overconfident over there. So we're gonna swoop around. Let's try and get into the grass. There we go. No one knows we're here. And there we go, going for the Gene. We got the Gene. Oh no! I was gonna try and sneak out, but the Mortis did get back. So it looks like they have nine, so this is going to be a very, very slim chance of us winning. Oh! Looks like the Nita Bear actually got a kill over there. Let's see if we're able to take them out. So we weren't able to take them out exactly, but we do now have possession of a few gems and we have control. Looks like we're pushing them back pretty far. I'm close to death. Oh, it looks like we were able to kill two of them. Our Nita is going to be able to run out with the gems, I think. We have to go in there and body block. We do a bit of defense on our guy. Wow. That was such a great comeback over there. We were, oh, and there we go. That's going to be the end of the fourth game right there, guys. That's going to be it for the video. If you guys liked it, you already know, like, comment, subscribe. You already know what to do. Going to be coming in with a lot of videos soon. I have big plans coming up for the YouTube channel. It's growing at a perfect rate. I love what's happening right now. And yeah, thank you guys for showing up, watching the video. Peace.